We're gonna drink a bunch of hot chocolates today. I suppose I shouldn't tell you that I'm allergic to chocolate. YYC Hot Chocolate Fest, annual festival that takes place in the city of Calgary, um, where all of these businesses uh, create like a specialty hot chocolate uh, that they're gonna sell just for the month of February. It's super cool because it actually benefits charity, benefits Meals on Wheels. I really, really enjoy it. I try to get as many of them as possible. And I figured this year we might as well try and do as many as we possibly can. All at once. In a day. Uh and hopefully no one dies. Rasa is a Calgarian uh, institution. Number one of many, let's see how it goes. Oh, it's really salty. The top is so salty. Yeah, there's actual salt crystals I'm biting into. Tastes like Utah, Salt Lake City. Okay, I got it. Tastes like Mormonism, is that what you're saying? Yeah, pretty much. Once you get through the layer though, it's like really chocolatey underneath. It's kind of like a chocolate covered pretzel. It's like licking a Calgary road, that's how much salt there is. It balances out the sweetness a little bit to have that salt in it. Do you think it's not sweet enough? I would add a little bit more sugar. I'm getting that heat more now. I'm starting to like get it in the back of my throat. Um, I'm guessing that's the Aztec part of it, is it's supposed to be kind of like a spicier hot chocolate. What is our rubric for this Ho Cho tasting? What's a rubric? I think presentation, obviously. Every it had time. like red pepper bits in there, which was really cool. I like how simple it kind of was, how chocolatey it is. It's pretty chocolatey. Yeah. Uh, without being overboard, I think this is a nice little balance. How does your soul feel after you, after you drink it? Torn, content, same time. My soul feels pretty warm, so I guess that's pretty good. I would like to eat this in a solid form. I think that's just chocolate. It would go really good with like a block of cheddar or something like that. Sorry, what? Did you say you're eating your chocolate with cheddar? How about you ever had chocolate with cheese? So what you do is you go home and like take a piece of old fort cheese, like a nice slice of cheddar, and you drizzle it with Nesquik, and you put it in the microwave, not enough to make it melt, but just enough to soften it, and you eat it with an olive. It's really good. Eat it with a what? An olive. <laughs> Stop, or there will be happy planet. Take it easy. Have you ever had those, um, those quality street chocolates? Yeah! That's exactly what it tastes like. Wow! It's super good. Apparently it's all vegan. It's like the first thing I could taste when I sipped it was the coconut whipped cream. And then got a little bit of that raspberry and, the, and then the chocolate. That was actually like quenching. Like it quenched my thirst. I cannot believe you just finished that. What is wrong with you? Like just... What am I supposed to even talk about now? Uh, what do you think of the presentation? I like it. It's like a nice... It's like a, like a white and red rose. Yeah. I really like that little piece of chocolate. I guess that's vegan too. It was almost like a fudge. I do big fan of oatmeal. One good thing about it is it actually wasn't overbearingly sweet. It's definitely way sweeter than the last one. But it's not like I'm drinking like a pop. The quality of chocolate is actually really good. And the more I drink it, I really appreciate that coconut whipped cream. I love the way that the chocolate balances with the coconut. That nice it tasted the sweetness of the raspberry. It tasted the way it smelled. Sometimes you can smell something, oh that, you know, smells really good and you taste it. It's not bad, it just tastes completely different than what it smelled like. But this Have you is been like eating a lot of potpourri recently? How does your soul feel? Like I'm laying on a cloud. Sleepy. Comfortable. I actually poked my lip with the sharp thing right now, so I think I'm bleeding. Uh, yeah, my soul feels pretty content. That's very rich. Unfortunately, since I'm vegetarian, I will not be consuming this marshmallow. Can I have it? Yeah, you can have it. What does it taste like, though? Is it a mushroom? It's a marshmallow. Oh. It's a Sorel marshmallow. So does it taste like herby? 
Yeah. Hot chocolate itself is fantastic. Yeah. Obviously, the presentation was amazing. You know, the Dean House is such a cool and fancy restaurant, so you know they were going to go above and beyond as far as the presentation goes. This is the most chocolate yeah, coca. that I've had so far. Like, it tastes like a straight up bar of chocolate. How does your soul feel? Content. My soul feels fancy. Um, I'm going to really try to get more dairy alternatives the next place that we go to because I don't know if I can take this much dairy in a day. I don't think anyone should take this much dairy in a day. I feel like I've just come in off the ranch after hard day's work and I had a six shooter on the hip. I'm going to have a chocolate. I don't know why I did that voice. Yeah, I don't know why Macho Man Randy Savage is in the old west here. But... I would assume this is the drink that Macho Man Randy Savage would drink? Yes. Yeah. This is definitely the Macho Man of hot chocolates. Oh yeah! Taste that orange. I love that. Yeah, I'm excited to taste this candy orange. The presentation obviously was amazing. I love these little ones. It is very much the flavor profile they were looking for. It tastes like a cherry chocolate orange. Yeah. I think like, the actual cocoa is a little bit overwhelmed by the rest of the flavors. It does feel like a darker chocolate. It feels like it's more bitter, which I feel they probably did deliberately to balance with like the sweetness of the candy oranges and stuff like that. I just wish I could like get more of that bitter cocoa coming through. How does your soul feel? Hopeful. But you think we might be able to fix climate change? Well, I hope so. What's this thing? I think it's a cookie. Oh wow. It's a biscuit. Where'd the biscuit go? I ate it. <laughs> I literally blinked. Oh, it's the tea bag. Um, wow. Wait, was that what I just drank? Hey, you just swallowed a tea bag. No, here it is. Jesse, kids are gonna watch this. This might be my favorite presentation wise. The biscuits, phenomenal. The chocolate itself feels really light. It's almost like a hot chocolate was just used to thicken out the tea. Uh, it's very smooth. It's not as thick and heavy as some of the others were. I love the Earl Grey flavor. It's just like rich and florally. The actual drink itself is so light and easy going. Uh, my soul feels rejuvenated. Lemon poppy seed, like. Your soul feels like a lemon poppy seed. Yeah. Pretty good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. This is too big. Can you imagine if your kid asked for a hot chocolate and you handed this to him? It's just a big I'd be concerned for his life. This tastes like a chocolate cherry. Those, those are cherry, my favorite. Those cherry blossoms? Yeah. yeah, those are my favorite candies too. This is the sweetest one though. Like it tastes like candy. I do like the presentation. I like the like little bit of peppers that they put on there. It makes it slightly more complex. It's way more richer than the last ones we've had. You can it's feel a bit it too sweet. I can, I can feel it on my teeth. Yeah, you can feel it on your teeth. That's like, what I was about to say. The actual chocolate flavor is lost. I taste a lot more cherry than I do anything else. My soul's a little tired at this point. I mean, this is number six. Also, my soul's hungry. We ordered food because, like, obviously I had to eat something. Oh well, bottoms up. Please don't finish it. Anyway, so that's my I'm take on it. Good. It's uh, frighteningly sweet. Unless you have the metabolism of Dwayne Johnson, then maybe you could drink this. What? 
It's definitely the most visually striking this out of all of them. This is easily the most impressive. I watched him make the whole thing, and I was just like mesmerized. I really like these little chocolate flakes. One of my favorite chocolates is Cadbury Flake. I can immediately get that rose flavor. It's like super florally. I'm kind of mixed about rose flavors. Rose water, I feel, is like a little overpowering. This kind of strikes a good balance with the chocolate. What's this called again? Love potion number nine? If I was in a fantasy setting, I would assume this is what a love potion would taste like. It's interesting that it's not super sweet. Apparently, it does have a lot of condensed milk in it too. And considering it's got all of that stuff happening for it, it's still like a pretty easy going and approach yeah. drink. My soul feels like Soul Caliber. Which Soul Caliber character would that taste like? It's kind of slutty. <laughs> so I guess Baldo. <laughs> I was gonna say Baldo. Definitely alcoholic. <laughs> it tastes like a cider. Yeah, it does. Almost like a mulled wine. I'm getting a very like wood flavor from it. Oh, maybe it's like a smoky. It might be like the bourbon or the whiskey mm. or something that they use in that. It's very potent. Yeah, we definitely can't finish it because we do have to drive out again. Presentation-wise, it was amazing. I always like a little cookie to go with something. The chocolate, I can't taste it. Whatever the alcohol is, it's giving me like a slight bitter yeah. tinge. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's probably that like bitter taste that I'm getting. Is that Sweetness wise, I think it's like pretty well balanced. Yeah, it's like it's not super. I do like that little bit of bitterness, that like aftertaste, the beer thing that comes through really well. Really well done. Uh, I like it. I'm actually a little bit upset I don't get to finish it all. This is probably the most soul warming one that we've yeah. had, actually. It feels like an ancient drink. Or like you had to kill him yeah, to get it. No, not that. Like something <laughs> I would like drink in like a watchtower way back then. Like yeah, after, killing after killing him. After killing him, man, yes. Yeah. This feels know. like what Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson were drinking in the White House. Yeah, you know what? I could see them drinking this right before they go crazy. This is the perfect drink to drink before you go crazy. Dance, Winslow! Dance! It's hardened my soul, that's what I think. Soul warming, soul hardening. You got a nice soul boner. Soul what? Boner. Yeah, I got it. This, this hot chocolate gives your soul a boner. Okay, so uh, before we go any further, I gotta say, um, that was really good. Um, I had a really long conversation with uh, Patty Berry, who's the assistant taproom manager at Inner City Brewing. She said that like, this isn't even the, the regular batch, like this isn't as good as he would have it be. No, and I really appreciate the amount of time he put in to like sit down and like tell me what went into it and how he makes it. He actually even offered me to come back and make uh, two fresh ones tomorrow okay. that are like free on the house. And I was like, man, really? that's, that's like super nice of him. Uh, just seems like a really cool guy. That's just so cool to like see such passion and commitment to like making something like that. It really showed through, like you could tell it was like just a very well crafted drink. Um, we've had eight hot chocolates today. Which one was your favorite hot chocolate? I still have to say the Raspberry Beret. That went down so smoothly. You polished that off so quickly, it was scary. <laughs> I love raspberry when it's in a hot chocolate form. Both those flavors complemented themselves so well. Everything about it was perfect. I could drink that hot chocolate for days. I think for me, I'd have to say the Earl Grey hot chocolate from Souk was uh, probably my favorite one. I love Earl Grey. I love that flavor profile. I love how well it went with the oat milk that I got it with. And that cookie was like the perfect thing. That little Earl Grey shortbread cookie. Yeah, it was so good. So delicious. 